When we say pirates, people think about Captain Jack Sparrow and the Black Pearl, or Blackbeard with his wooden Queen Anne's revenge ship. Most people will think that pirates are extinct in the modern world. But what if we tell you that there are pirates in other parts of the world, and they are not what you expect? Today at Finance Per, we'll find out who these pirates are and how ships stop them from doing their crimes. But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Piracy traces its roots back to ancient civilizations, dating as far back as the Mediterranean and Aegean Seas during the Bronze Age. But the golden age of piracy that we know emerged during the late 17th to early 18th centuries, when notorious figures like Blackbeard and Captain Kidd roamed the Caribbean and Atlantic, plundering ships. These pirates seized valuable cargoes, terrorized coastal towns, and established their own lawless communities in hidden coves. But the decline of piracy came with the coordinated efforts of naval forces such as the British Royal Navy to suppress pirate activities. International treaties and legal measures further destroyed piracy, eventually leading to its near eradication by the 19th century. However, modern piracy has experienced resurgence in regions like the Gulf of Aden and the South China Sea, driven by economic disparities, political instability, and weakened maritime law enforcement. But modern piracy is not the piracy that we think it is. There are no big ships, no cannons, and no hidden treasures. Modern sea piracy is a criminal act that involves armed attacks, hijackings, and robberies of vessels and crews traversing international waters and maritime trade routes. Unlike the swashbuckling imagery of historical piracy, modern pirates employ sophisticated tactics to target cargo ships, transport vessels, and oil tankers. Driven by motives such as financial gain, territorial disputes, or political instability in certain regions, these pirates use weapons, often engage in violence, and sometimes take hostages for ransom. But despite advancements in maritime security and international cooperation to combat piracy, it remains a persistent challenge. That is why some people are developing methods to stop piracy. Let's start with the most basic, water cannons. They are integral components of modern maritime defense. Modern water cannon designs allow for flexible operation as they can be remotely controlled from the ship's bridge or programmed to activate automatically. This strategic implementation is not only geared toward effectively repelling pirate threats but also serves a vital safety purpose by mitigating the risk of crew members being exposed to potential gunfire. The effectiveness of water cannons as a deterrent against modern pirates has been proven through rigorous testing in real life. These high-pressure streams of water emerge as formidable tools disrupting pirates' ability to maneuver their vessels. This dual effect of impairing pirates' control over their vessels while forcing them to prioritize their own safety makes the practicality and viability of water cannons a non-lethal yet impactful solution for safeguarding maritime vessels against pirates and other threats. Another invention that is being used against pirates is the P-trap mechanism. The P-trap mechanism offers an alternative approach to avoiding pirate threats by using a passive yet highly effective strategy, comprising two robust booms strategically positioned alongside a ship's hull. This mechanism serves as a proactive line of defense against pirate vessels. These booms trail behind the ship obstructing the path of any potential assailants and stopping their progress by ensnaring their boat's propeller in the lines. This ingenious tactic works to swiftly diminish pirates' control over their vessel, buying precious time for the ship's crew to respond with other countermeasures. The brilliance of the P-trap mechanism lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. As pirate boats attempt to close in on their target, these unassuming yet strategically positioned booms initiate a sequence that thwarts their advances. This delay serves as a crucial window of opportunity, 
enabling the crew to activate a range of defensive measures such as alerting naval forces, repairing water cannons, or executing evasive maneuvers. But aside from piracy, maritime security has a broader spectrum of challenges. This includes the unpredictable force of severe weather that can jeopardize vessels and their crews. In dire circumstances, such as when facing the wrath of nature's elements, a common recourse is to abandon the ship. This survival strategy has evolved significantly, marked by the incorporation of modern motorized lifeboats equipped with cutting-edge launching mechanisms. These advanced lifeboats represent a fusion of engineering and innovation, designed to swiftly and efficiently navigate stormy and treacherous waters while maximizing the chances of a successful evacuation. In the quest for enhanced safety at sea, the development of self-riding boats stands as a remarkable achievement. Companies like Rafnar Maritime in Iceland have pioneered these self-riding vessels, which possess the remarkable ability to autonomously restore their upright orientation even after being flipped upside down. This groundbreaking technology hinges on the principle of buoyancy, using engineering to ensure that the vessel automatically rides itself in the water. This innovation holds promise not only in scenarios of capsizing but also in a variety of maritime situations, where maintaining stability and ensuring the safety of crew members are the number one priority. In the United Kingdom, the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, also known as RNLI, has harnessed the concept of self-riding boats to enhance sea rescue operations. The RNLI employs a fleet of self-riding lifeboats known as the Shannon class, specifically engineered to navigate the tumultuous waters surrounding the British Isles. These innovative lifeboats are equipped with a unique design and construction that uses automatic reorientation in the event of a capsizing incident. By positioning heavy components deep within the hull and employing a pendulum system to seal air valves when the boat turns upside down, the Shannon class ensures that it naturally rides itself, optimizing crew safety and the vessel's effectiveness in life-saving missions. Every problem has a solution. Some of it may be as simple as a water cannon or as advanced as self-riding lifeboats that can thread in stormy seas. If you are interested in other solutions to other problems, such as Elon Musk's plan to conquer Mars or the use of electric vehicles, Check out our channel for more amazing videos about finance, technology, and business. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Burr. Have a great day!